again welcome back to my channel my name is Janelle Simona and this is scent talk from my closet the fragrance closet on this channel we go over all things fragrance we cover niche perfume houses we go over layering combos we talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances we highlight indie perfume brands on the channel all things fragrance so if that's something you're interested in going to continue watching consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which fragrance house we're going to cover next so if it is your first time on the channel i do like to focus on one perfume house at a time and this week we are focusing on Novile 1942 it is an Italian niche perfume house oh and they they make the most beautiful fragrances we are barely on our second try out here wear test review I do like to wear one fragrance at a time give it the entire day and come up with layering combos if that's the case come back and give you my full on thoughts and opinions of the fragrance for today we wore cafe chantant so this fragrance right here was brought about in the year 2013 and it is considered a floral woody musk but on the side itself it says it's a gourmand poetry so um you know whichever of the two you would like to go with um cafe chantant stands for the singing cafes of the belle epoque so sing singing cafes each fragrance of this fragrance house has a little backstory to how they came up with you know the the fragrance itself like the backstory to the fragrance so um the inspiration if you will for this fragrance it's the singing cafes based on the renowned venues of theater sing and drink song and drink that played a major role in the revitalization of paris in the late 19th century. Novila 1942 here pays tribute to the unique atmosphere of the singing cafe. The ladies, the the, the powdery makeup that they were that they wore, the beautiful dresses, the um the men you know smoking their tobacco, even though there's no tobacco notes in here, just pretty much the ambiance of those singing cafes is the inspiration to this fragrance. So in the notes here we have black cherry i think that the cherry here comes a across a bit sour we have laurel anise heliotrope and iris vanilla benzoin patchouli and musk so this opens up really really nice sour cherry i'm telling you oh yes really nice sour cherry oh and then um the after this opening of the sour cherry you I didn't spray enough. <laughs> you want that to almost stick around. I really was hoping for that particular cherry feel to kind of uh, travel through the mid of the wear and the dry down as well, but it does not. The cherry does taper off rather quickly, actually. And then we get this vanilla feel, um, really, really almondy, pretty much, which then takes my nose to the House of Oud's Almond Harmony. I have it right here by Royalty Scents. I do have a decant of it. Um, so the same thing that happens with Almond Harmony here happened with this uh, Cafe Chantant. So I was really hoping that this vanilla and the benzoin you know would give me a beautiful candied vanilla dry down like ooh, i am enjoying this cherry almondy opening uh, you know with this heliotrope and and whatnot um the anise gives it a little powdery floral spice the iris in here really tagged tagged up with that anise and it just gives us in the dry down a very very powdered centered fragrance i mean powdery um it's not really um announced uh you know or pronounced that it's going to be this this powdery but i definitely get that as the on my skin anyway the most prominent notes this is powder bomb this is what this is <laughs> so um yeah the dry down very powdery that's a dominant note it's not a cosmetic powder it is just powder like almost uh dusty you can almost feel you know the smell is very dusty powder 
but it's a sweet dusty powder so I definitely was able to tolerate it it's not anything that I needed to save my fragrant day uh, top it off with anything else it was definitely not headache inducing or anything like that and if you like your powdery fragrances like for example your Dior's hypnotic poison you're gonna love this this is nice this is another refined fragrance that's it just smells of good good quality so um is this my particular cup of tea no i actually wanted to um bring out that cherry so i did wear this on its own um the night before and then i was like "Ooh, i want to add some almond cherry to this and um i got this as a present thank you so much um to shimmer lux thank you always thinking of me cherry almond cream by this is by sweet clementine soaps you can find these on etsy they're really really affordable um fragrances and they're they're pretty straightforward what they say they are is what they are so i went ahead and layered this as my base cherry almond cream hand and body lotion by sweet clementine soaps i did apply the oil after that on my pulse points so that i could amplify the cherry um note that is in here so yes it did the trick i did also apply it to the collars of my jacket and my sleeves and it really really um, helped amplify that cherry note that we got going on in here and it really helps that it had the heliotrope with the almond and the vanilla it went so so good with this uh, cherry almond cream so that was my layering base of choice for today and um, even then I still got that powder come through really really strongly so if I hadn't had my cher my uh, cherry almond cream here it have been even more powdery I feel um yeah I was able to hold on to that cherry uh even longer than I did when I wore it without this cream <laughs> so if you have anything that is in your current collection for bases like um anything with cherry in them a heavy heavy vanilla I think that that would go really really nice with this a couple options I have here that I feel would accentuate and help you layer this fragrance is the Warm Vanilla Sugar by Bath & Body Works. I'm finding this to be very, very a clean vanilla. I really adore this. This this is inoffensive. It will knock it in the way of your fragrance. And it will... It, and it, I, I just love this. <laughs> okay, so this has intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. And I've been really enjoying uh, layering this with several different things. And it would have gone nice here. Oh yes, I really like that. If you want to accentuate that cherry and bring a little more warmth to this, I think Sunset Glow um, by Bath & Body Works as well will go too. So this has fresh coconut, sparkling cherry, seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. So it's in the caramelized vanilla and the cherry that is really going to drive well with this fragrance, the Cafe Chantant. Um, will it stand alone beautifully on its own? Yes, definitely. Um, especially if you are a fan of those powdery fragrances, like I'm saying. Um, a couple of fragrances that, or one in particular, that I kept getting tripped up about. So I looked it up. This is Queer, Bel Queer Beluga. <laughs> and this is by the House of Guerlain. Um, and it actually has in it tangerine, aldehydes, immortelle, patchouli, vanilla, suede, heliotrope, and amber. So that fragrance is said to smell a bit like Cafe Chantant or vice versa. Cafe Chantant smells like the Queer, queer Beluga. However, the Queer Beluga has this leathery nuance to it. It is supposed to smell even more refined and just has this, um, you know, just, uh, a, it doesn't allow the powder to take over. You can smell the different notes that is in the fragrance. You can smell the vanilla. You can smell the bright opening and all that. Here, it's really just a two-parter. It's the almond, cherry, vanilla at the beginning, and then the very, very powdery dry down, which I very much so was not expecting. 
very interesting how that turned out so um is this a fragrance that i would be wanting to put on my full bottle list at the moment probably not only because um i would i wouldn't feel comfortable wearing it on its own or i wouldn't want this is not something that i personally would want to reach for but if if this is a type of fragrance you like then it'll definitely drive for you and I really did appreciate the artistry behind it. It was great. It was great. It was a great wear. Um, yeah, but not anything that I would reach for. <laughs> All right. So that was the review for Cafe Chantant by Novile 1942. Um, you can find this fragrance on Lucky Scent for it runs you $145 for the 75 ml presentation and um yeah i'm mentioning this because if i believe the novila 1942 site only ships to the uk and um it had two flags <laughs> and italy i believe i didn't definitely did not find the us if you're us based i didn't find that on the site so lucky scent has been so great in me being able to find things from you know europe that i'm not able to find currently um on their sites to ship over here okay thank you guys so much for tuning in to the review we're going to continue here with the house of novila 1942 i hope you're enjoying this week and if you have any requests please let me know thanks have a great day and stay safe Bye bye